Hello everybody, this is Sharon, and I have another project I'd like to share with you today. This is an altered mailbox that my friend Rena gave me during a swap that we had together. And um, it was just a paper mache um, mailbox, you know, the kind of brownish looking colored ones. And um, I just altered it. I used this um, paper stack right here by Susan Wingett. It's by K & Company. Um, I think the name of it is Floral Specialty paper pad. It's right here and um, it has some really pretty um, paper in it. Really shabby chic. And so that's the paper collection that I used. And um, so we'll just go ahead and get started here. Um, first of all I painted it all over with some vintage white paint, acrylic paint. And then after I, I put that on there I um, went ahead and adhered the paper to it. And um, after I did that, I just started adding these, you know, pretty laces, and um, I did some of the stenciling here with um, some of the stencils. I think this is the art, yeah, um, art one here, and then this is like the hexagon or octagon stencil here, and then um, we'll just start up here on the top. Maybe that'll be the easiest place, but um, I just layered this little bird here on top, and um, I think I picked this up at at Hobby Lobby and for the little nest I did some of this uh, eyelash trim in the white and then as you go over this way um, I made this little flower right here and um, just with some lace that I had in my stash and then I put this little center in it. I believe I picked this up at Hobby Lobby too over in the, the sewing department and then I made this real pretty little stick pin um, I saw this on Pinterest and it has like the little lace up here on the top and then you just put the pearls you know in it and you know the different embellishments that you want to put on here your bead caps and different things like that and then back here I put a double bow with some seam binding here in it and a ribbon slider or from uh, saw crafters and uh, a flat back pearl there and then I just layered some more of this lace. This is some lace that I just had in my stash. And then this lace right here, um, this trim right here, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. On the, um, this part right here, this is uh, from the Graphic 45 paper collection, um, The Secret Garden. And so I just put this here, cut this out of the paper and put that there. And this there come from that. And then I have a little bow that I put there. And then this pretty um, center right here, this is like a flower center. It came from uh, Hobby Lobby in the sewing department. And then on um, down right here, um, this trim right here, I got this from um, Joann's. And I just put some of these flat back pearls here from Sidecrafters on there. And um, this is the same lace trim that I just had in my stash and then this I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And then down here um, I did a candlestick and this is like a double candlestick. I just put two of them together because this bo uh, mailbox was really big. It's, it's one of the largest ones that I've ever seen. But um, I just put this little frame here and um, it was in gold and so I, I did that in silver with some of the mixtives, uh, the alcohol inks that Tim Holtz makes. And then I just put this little picture of this little girl in there. And I tied this double bow with some seam binding that I have. Another ribbon buckle or slider. And a flat back pearl that's come from Side Crafters. And then I just put some cheesecloth back here in the back. And I am just kind of have that coming down along with some more of the eyelash trim. And then these flowers over here are from my friend Sabrina. Thanks Sabrina. And then um, I just put another flower here and used some of my Lindy's um, sprays on that. And so it just kind of goes around like that. I didn't do anything to the back of that. And I put some of the, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it has like the texture to it. Um, this is just some white gesso that I put on here and then added the sand to it to give it this texture. And then for the front of it right here, this is um, a doily that I just had in my stash here. And then um, I put a 
a rosette flower trim here. This came from Jazella's shop. And then this little um, rose right here came from um, Hobby Lobby, I think, uh, from Tim Holtz. And then I did um, layer the inside of it with some um, other paper. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has the paper all through there. And then there's some, you know, the paper here too. And then on this side over here, um, I have some more of the stenciling right here with the uh, texture paint. And then this right here is um, one of the hard embellishments that I created that I got on my tree, my craft tree. And so it just, you know, goes around like this and has the flowers. And I already have a, um, a video on that, so if you're interested in that, you can just take a look at that. And then um, up here is one of the Vicky flowers. And I just have some more of the eyelash trim and a flatback pearl and another ribbon slider from Sawcrafter Shop up here in the top. And then I have a little bit more of the stencil in here. And I did put a doily up here in the top too. You can barely just kind of see it sticking out here. And I put that, you know, I layered that on the top there. And the back of it, I just did some more of the stenciling from the Art Is uh, stencil here. I just kind of left that plain. And um, I think that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, just let me know. Um, took a little bit of time doing this, but I really had a good time doing it. It was uh, a lot of fun. And um, got to work with my favorite paper collection again. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, and um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.